Hmm. Loud, isn't it? I think it sounds a bit better. I think what we'll have to do is do the bottom bearing as well. And we'll see what happens then. Anyway, it's unplugged again now. So, that's the next challenge, working out how you get to the bottom bearing. Pull out those little clips there, which attach the thing together. There we go, and there's the wires, hey, oh there we go, and you can push that to a side now, because that now is just a shell, yeah, so what we're going to have to do now, is peel off this tape around here, We'll have to put some fresh new tape on later. I can already tell there's going to be a part two to this video. It's going to take longer than I thought. Mm, there's the tape. That can just go in the bin. And we can have a look at this motor in further detail and see what we can see. You can tell there's wear on the armature, but that's natural. For that to happen, that wear on the armature, you can see the carbon brushes where they've been rubbing against it. Hmm. I think the bottom's pulling off anyway. Oh. Hmm. Very slowly. Yeah, I'm prizing this off. There we go. That's like the bottom protective cover. I don't remember that on the Turbo Power 1000, but again, the Turbo Power 1000 is an older model. I don't remember a big black plastic thing. I think that was all rubber. Put that there anyway. wonder if you can still buy new motors for this model. I'm trying to think what's best to do next. Right, what we will do now, we'll have the carbon brushes out. We'll have a look and see how worn they are. to be very gentle doing this. Because the carbon brush holders, if you're too rough, they have a tendency to snap, which is what you don't want. Well, I think it might be jammed because it doesn't want to come out. It springs all out, but the actual carbon brush doesn't want to come out. We'll let it stay there. What we'll do is we'll undo these two screws in the top.
right the whole thing's sort of just split apart there right okay so there's the feel coiled what if i just called it a feel coiled a field coil <laughs> With two long machined screws in it there, or bolts. There's that bimetal strip I was telling you about. Um, yeah. Well, that's not what the problem is, though, is it? Oh, you can see the carbon brush through there. It's got plenty of life on that. Don't know about the other one, though. The other one's not pinged out, has it, as it should have done. I think we'll help it through with that little terminal. God, it's stuck. Never mind. I'll push it back a bit because I'd rather have it stuck in than stuck out. I think there'll be another internal fuse in between there, something like that. As older Panasonics used to have. Right. Yes, I think the bottom bearing. You can hear it squeaking, can't you? The top one's not the best, but it's a lot better with that oil in. So... We'll have to figure out how to get this apart now. Probably undo that bolt there. Right, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll take this apart and then we'll come back. So look out for part two. Thanks for watching. See you in part two.